Photography is a lot of fun. And one of the activities I love in photography, besides taking pictures and everything, is developing film. In this video, we are going to explore developing film in coffee, which is completely different from the standard developing. The other interesting aspect about this is that this mixture has no odor. It is basically coffee, and yes, the same coffee that you drink. So for this video, I will be taking pictures with a Mamiya RB67 medium format camera, which shoots six by seven. It's called format six by seven, which actually turns out to 60 millimeter by 70 millimeter picture size. And that goes to the negatives. So the negatives end up quite large. The negatives end up really large size negative. So I will be taking pictures on that. And then after that, I will load them into a tank. I will do another video about loading a film tank. So after that tank is loaded, then let's check out what it takes to develop film and coffee. In this video, I will be giving a recipe for developing in coffee. So let's have some fun and do a little bit of exploration. Preparing our development mixture. For making calf and all, a good way to do it, you could use tap water, but you can use, and I'm using just regular distilled water. You can get this anywhere at the store. You can use it. I've tried tap water distilled. Let's try distilled. Let's uh, see what happens. So we have distilled water, okay? And then the next thing you'll need is vitamin C. Uh, so I have vitamin C tablets. Now this one is a 500 meg. The best version actually is a thousand meg. So uh, I'll give you the what I'm pouring in here for 500 milligrams. So you have vitamin C 500 milligrams. So the one you buy is a thousand. Okay I'll give you uh, what I'm doing with this one and you just divide it in half, so it's not that bad. So I'll, I'll tell you what the mixtures are for these. So you have the vitamin C, which you can get from any, any store you can get. And you have instant coffee, okay? I'm using this one, just so you know. It's uh, Nescafe Classico. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try different ones. I'm gonna do different videos with different types of coffee. So this is the one coffee that I'm using is uh, is this one. And it's a dark, dark roast coffee. And yes, it's the coffee that you drink. Okay, so the last thing you are going to need is washing soda. And there seems to be a lot of confusion with this. It's not baking soda, it's washing soda. If you use baking soda, your pictures come out very, very light. So you have to use sodium carbonate. So this one was from a pool supply. Some stores you can get it as washing soda. You can get that. But look for sodium carbonate. That's the one you can find on here. And this one is 100% sodium carbonate. It was very, very inexpensive. And this amount will probably last me a long, long time. So let's get into the mixture. What I'm going to use is a little mixer uh, to help mix it up quick. So let's get to that. Okay, for this mixture, I am using about 600 to 650 uh, milliliters. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, it's uh, for 35 millimeter, I did it with uh, 14 ounces. Uh, this one, I'm, I remember this one is medium format, so it requires a lot more. So let's do an experiment and use the same mix and I'm adding a little bit more fluid. So this one is about 600 to 650 milliliters. So at 14 ounces, just so you know, it was 414 milliliters. So <clears throat> this one is a lot more ounces. So let's try this at 600, 650. Okay, so on this you can see I'm using a uh, mixer on here. So I put in about 650 milliliters of water around there and I'm using distilled water in this one. The first one we put in is the vitamin C powder, which is 
normally it is uh, for I'm going to actually here's here's the correction uh, excuse me for a thousand milligrams okay of this uh, yeah for the thousand milligrams of this we normally add three quarter teaspoons I have 500 so I'm going to double that I'm going to put six quarter teaspoons Okay, so I have six quarter teaspoons. And let's let that mix. By the way, this mixer also works really well for mixing D76 and everything else. It mixes really well. Okay, our next one is five teaspoons of instant coffee crystals. So I'm going to put five teaspoons in there. And I'm not mashing it up or grinding them. The only ones, uh, oh, I recommend on vitamin C. Uh, if you get, get capsules so you can open them up. I'm cr actually crushing the tablets, so it takes a little bit longer. So I'm now putting the five teaspoons of instant coffee crystals in there. So I've got five in there right now. So that's mixing up currently right now. Okay, so my next one is three and a half teaspoons of washing soda. So I'm going to, here's the washings, I have the washing soda, I'm going to put three and one half teaspoons of uh, washing soda. So that actually completes our mixture. So I'm going to let it mix. And so that completes our mixture and I'm just going to let it mix. And when it's mixed, I'll have the tank ready. I'm going to do another video about, I would be doing another instruction about loading a film onto a developing tank. For now we have the steps of how to make Caffeinol, the developer, and how you mix it and the various ingredients needed. So the thing I have to to watch on here is since I used crushed, uh, what I have to be careful with is since I crushed the tablets, I have to make sure the tablets to dissolve completely. I'm looking at the fluid here to see if I'm, I'm getting any white spots. But so far they look good. I'm going to uh, just keep running it until it completely dissolves. Okay, so here's our developer. Our, you pour the developer in the tank. That goes for a certain amount of minutes. I'll let you know. Then you wash the tank, and this is all without opening it. That stops the developer. Then you pour in something called fixer, which I, I have. I have some fixer. And you let that sit for a certain amount of minutes and then you wash that out and what you do is you put a little drop of like uh i'll demonstrate it on here you put a little drop of, of uh, you can either use some people are really against it using dish soap i've been using it for years you put a very small amount but i will show it on this video about uh, using kodak photo flow and they use a very, very, very little of this. What it does is when the water evaporates off the negative, it leaves a very, it dries it smooth without any big drops. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to pour this, I'm going to pour this in the tank. And here's the pattern I did that works. I, div uh, I remember I have 100 speed, 100 ISO, regular stuff, T-Max, uh, Kodak film okay and I clocked it all at 100 I didn't do anything strange and I'm going to pour this in and the first minute I'm going to turn the tank and turn it and then agitate it for 30 seconds after each after after the first minutes agitated every 30 seconds I'm going to agitate the tank for 30 seconds for 11 minutes okay so let me get that started here. So here's the developer. 
So what helps with this is taking off the top, okay? The tank is still here. Now, there's multiple ways to agitate it. With Caffano, I like to manually turn it upside down. I, I use this top. You can use the, the spinner, but I do that for the 76. I'm just showing you the pattern I use that work. So I'm gonna pull that out. Let's pour in the developer and get it started. Okay, so I now have the developer inside. So let me start the clock. Now you let it sit for a little bit, okay, for about 30 seconds. And then you agitate it again for 30 seconds. And believe it or not, time goes by pretty fast. Okay, so now we agitate it again. As you can see the way I'm doing it, I'm just turning it. I've had that problem with 35, and I've had that with, uh, I've had that with all of them. 35 and 120. I usually, ah, I'll tell you about it right now. Usually the film will sit about here for 120, and I had it, I had the fluid exactly there. That's not a good idea. I went above just to cover it. And 35 sits about right here. So uh, I fill it a little bit higher. Okay, so now we go on this. Okay, going to keep agitating it. We're just slowly turning it. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to agitate it again. Keep agitating it. Okay, let's turn it again. go and what I'm going to do is do this for about one minute I'm going to on the side is another tank just with regular tap water and what I'm going to do is remove the top remove the top of my tank like this okay what I'm going to do is submerge it under here to empty out everything I'm going to empty out all the caffeinol and this actually will stop the development process. I'm just going to submerge it, and it gets filled with water. I'm just going to keep pouring it out. If it doesn't quite work, I'm going to, uh, you can rinse it in the sink. It's another thing I might do. I'm going to rinse it in the sink. Here, that stops the process right there. You can do this for like one minute or so. We use fixer, which keeps the image, which fixes it onto the plastic. So now the development has stopped, as you can see. Let me turn it over. Okay, now the development has stopped. So I'm going to get my funnel, and we fix for about five to six minutes. Some people fix set for longer. 
Uh, I've used my fixer for a while, so I'm going to fix for about six minutes. And this is fixer, so I'm going to pour fixer in here. So we did our development, and then we stopped the development, and now we fix it. So this one, what you do is you, you agitate it for first 30 seconds, almost, almost like the other one. First 30 seconds, okay. I can agitate, we can agitate for one minute, just to make sure. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. And then you let it sit and then fix again. As you, as you know, I did add, uh, yeah, I added more fluid just to cover everything inside, make sure I didn't do too little. And want to check your local area. A lot of times on this, you can do this in buckets. You can take it to any area that takes hazardous waste. For the coffee, it's not a problem. The coffee is, is that's the easiest thing. I mean, that's not the, the bucket filled. That's basically coffee. <laughs> a whole bucket of coffee is basically what that is. So I'm gonna do the same pattern on this every 30 seconds. I'm going to. Okay, so my alarm goes off, so we are done fixing. So now what we will do is I'm going to pour the fixer back in to its container. And I have, okay, what I'm going to do is pour the fixer back into the container. I have prepared a lot of tap water. I prepared a lot of tap water so I can do a wash and then dump it in the bucket. Okay, so now it's still fixing. It's not going to harm it. If it goes if it goes over, as you can see, we're over time. It's not it's not going to harm it, everything. So, I'm going to wash this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this is this is tap water. I'm going to just pour a bunch of tap water inside this. And let's just start washing it out. We have to stop the fix. So I'm just, this is regular, regular tap water. Okay. I'm going to uh, spin it around. Okay. Just to stop the fix. And I am going to wash it, uh, get most of this out of here. Okay, I'm going to open this up. And let's pour it in here. Pouring it in the bucket. Which is most likely what you're going to have to do. And let me fill this with water again. I'm actually going to use the bucket. Okay, so here is just, I just filled it with the, from the sink of tap, with tap water. And I'm gonna spin it around. So let me dump this out. And I do notice something interesting using half and all. I get less chemical residue when I wash it. Okay, so I've got, actually it went above, it went to a liter. So what I'm going to do is show you a little trick I use. This is uh, called Kodak PhotoFlow. I punch a little hole. You need very, very little, like a drop of PhotoFlow in this. 
So there we go. I kind of did like two or three. That's all you need. It, it did a little bit in there. So it is basically, to me, almost like uh, soap. <laughs> it's like this soap. Oops, sorry about that. Well, you can't open it, it is fixed. So let's pour that in there. Uh, actually, the thing I, I actually did on this, remember the fixer has been done. This actually is done, it's just wet. So you can actually open this. And what I do before I even lift the, uh, the film out, you can see where everything sits in here. I pour uh, the photo flow in here like this. Yeah, you can see it right here on the video. So I pour that a little over and you're gonna get some bubbles and everything else. So there, you can see it right here. What I do is I uh, move the, let me pull this out. I'll go through this in the, another video of why I do this and make sure nothing pops up. Actually, I can tell you a little bit here. The reason why I do that is sometimes the reel will land up on here on top while it's developing. And, and look, it's above, as you can see, it is above the liquid. So that's not going to help you. So I do this. And what the photo flow does, there we go, it's starting to suds. I just move it up and down. Yeah, you can see it suds. There we go. You can see what photo flow does. And what it will do is the mistake I was doing was washing it off, which doesn't do any good. And I learned from a, a professor of photography that has a video on there. And you just pull the film out and hang it, and the photo flow will. Uh, when the film dries, the best place is in the bathroom because the dust is low because of the shower. When the film hangs, the water will very smoothly drip downward and, and the, the very, very tiny film will evaporate. Okay, so now the film has, is uh, sitting, it, it was in photo flow, you can see the bubbles. So now what we do is we lift the film out of here and you can leave it sitting for a couple couple minutes if you want but it's done okay so now uh, what's left on here leave leave the photo flow on the film don't dry it off You're, yeah yeah it's like it's leaving a uh, like it's a very solid film it doesn't bead yeah that's the word I'm looking for it's not beading so I'm going to dump that in the bucket just water with photo flows. It's, it's almost the same as dish soap. So if I open this, I'm gonna open it up. There we go. So we can see, there we go. Yeah, we've got negatives. So there we go. So what I'm going to do is hang this film out to dry. And as you can see, I've got, it's hard to see, but I'll show it against the wall okay so as you can see right here the negatives are hanging and i'm going to hang and let them i'm going to hang them out and just let it let it dry and it looks like it's very very smooth and let's just let the things dry and then i will scan them and post them on the video and see what came out the other thing i do want to try is is different amounts of solution. I'll try different things and let's uh, see what happens. Let's see how these came out. This one had an accidental double exposure on this image. And as you can see, the images do come out. It works. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I will be posting more development ideas and development videos. And feel free to leave us a comment. And you can catch us on our Instagram page, which I will post on the video. Thank you, and just keep on clicking.